Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Captain Chang Plays 688 Eye Hunter Killer. Uh, this is a 1997 game, so the graphics are a little dated, but has nice, authentic photos. Anyway, for today's use, we are going to turn off both the TMA and the fire control because. It's causing me problems. Sonar is fine. And in any case, let's do the training mission. Syncax. Where we are supposed to be doing a training in anti-surface unit uh, using harpoon missiles. So, uh, okay. Uh, repairs are done. We are not touching any of those. And we are loading uh, torpedo tubes with four harpoons rather than two... Uh, rather than two ad cap and two harpoons. HQ already knows and uh, in submarine co uh, coveralls. Nice. 25 submarine sweaters. Okay, let's get underway. Okay. Aye, one third. Aye, sir. We are going to one All third. Aye, sir. And we are going to Periscope depth. Make my depth one zero zero feet. Aye, sir. Make we my are depth going to six zero periscope depth. feet. Aye, sir. We are only supposed to use ESM, so we are uh, going this way. Uh, well, ahead one third. Aye, sir. Let's, let's do one third. Stuff. Uh, okay, we're gonna accelerate time until we get to the surface, or at least periscope depth. We don't need the total ray today, but uh, okay. Sixty-two, sixty-two, sixty-one, sixty. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and raise, raise the, the antenna. Radio antenna. Aye, sir. Raise the ESM mast. Aye, sir. We're raising both just to get a nice reading. ESM mast. Aye, sir. Okay, no additional... Lower the antenna. Aye, sir. No additional radio traffic. Let us... Uh, let's see. Do we have an E? Okay. Uh, e. Okay. That's good. And we don't really need an E2 because we we don't need to track the Orion. So we are dropping E2. We're just going to keep E1. And there is a ship at M1. And uh, let's see. Center on ruler. This thing is, yeah, that looks great. Whoops. Okay. Not too bad, but uh, we don't have a good convergence, so we are going to go all stop. All stop, aye, sir. And we are going to accelerate time until, say, 12.15. Then we'll do all the readings again and see if we can get a 
reading. And as you can see, there is a ship moving that way. It's only visible on the long, on the uh, intermediate time, so there's barely anything to visible here. We're at 12.10, we're waiting until 12.15, and we're gonna, we will take another ESM reading. Okay, switching time scale to 1x, and let's get another ESM reading. Raise the ESM mast. Aye, sir. Expecting the reading to be right about 80 something. Lower the ESM mast. Aye, sir. Okay, uh, where the two line converges is where the contact is, so this contact is at least 20,000 yards away. You can see the two lines, the two dots line up. Let's see who is M2. M2. Right now we're not even sure what the M2's range is. So at this moment, all we can say is he's way out there. Let's enter a temporary solution for now. We'll figure it out a little later. Yeah, we've got like a temporary blip on the 90s and uh... okay. Well, let's make it two knots. Maneuvering, con. Make turns for two knots. Stream the port code array. Aye, sir. Let's go ahead and start streaming the array, and we'll increase speed to increase time scale to uh, Check the bearings again at uh, 
12.30, switching time scale to 1. Okay, so this thing is... What? Right either. What the heck is that first light? Weird. Okay. Ah, we haven't taken another reading yet. Checking M1. And one solution is relatively accurate. So let's get another reading for Raise the ESM mast. Aye, sir. E1. Hopefully it's now 80 something. The ESM mast. Aye, sir. Well, I guess it's uh, it is moving at a couple knots. So let's estimate its speed at five knots. Let's go ahead and lock that. And uh, ooh. It, it's not five knots. of zero, 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 and we don't know what the speed. Let's see, which way... Come on! Center on the ruler, in, and uh, how is this going to work out? Oh, God. Ah! You'll think it's somewhere out here. The only problem is I have no idea what its speed is. Because the solution can vary quite a bit. On the other hand, we know that M1 is moving and M2 I have no idea how M2 is moving M2, I thought M2 was moving that way but that's because I cheated before and let's see let's get a no, I don't. Uh, ESM. Let's see. Center on ruler. Zoom in. And uh, if we turn the ship this way, come on. Then it starts to line up a little better. On the other hand, that doesn't really tell me much. Let's try this solution. Yeah, that doesn't. Yes, Sam, and we don't have sonar in this one.
Okay, we are going to changing to five knots. Con. Make turns for five knots. There's a layer at 264 and not relevant. Okay, we're let's go ahead and start allocating both missiles. We got one and two targeted on E1. I think M2 is going to be further than that, but I could be mistaken. Okay. Let's go ahead and accelerate all the way to 1245. Somehow the TMA analysis on the ESM side is completely wacko. I have no idea what happened. Okay, going back to time scale one, let's get another ESM reading. Raise the ESM mast. Aye, sir. The ESM mast. Aye, sir. a little fudge factor here but I think he's uh, more like 36,000 yards away uh, okay yeah this uh, 
they don't exactly converge very well we know he's not moving There's a uh, quite a bit of a fudge factor, but I think he's somewhere around here. Let's enter that solution instead. Okay, I'm checking M1. Yeah, boy, M1 solution is even worse. Okay, let's uh, go all the way to one o'clock then. Maybe we did have that a little too far. Maybe clear. Thirteen hundred. Let's get one more ESM reading. Raise the ESM mast. Aye, sir. The ESM mast. Aye, sir. We are only considering 
ASM in the past hour, actually past 20 minutes, and uh, I'm getting a reading up here. Uh, that looks a little more reasonable. Okay, ready, firing point procedure. Uh, we're flooding soon. Checking uh, program settings, checking P1, seeker range 5, destruct range 50, 50. Yeah, 50 should be good. Uh, pattern wide. Turn. Program seeker range 5, 50, Y2. Okay, fire one. Fire two. Let's hope it works this time. I'll stop. Aye, sir. Okay, we should be coming up pretty soon on our target. Our destruct range was 50 miles, so we're only coming up on 25. It should be good. I hope so. I'm a little worried. Fifty miles out? Was I short that much? Hmm. 
Yeah, that's a problem when you sometimes get these uh, weird TMA analysis errors. I wonder if we ran into some sort of a math bug. I've never had problems with uh, TMA analysis like this before. Fifty miles is over the horizon. Okay, well, I guess we failed in this uh, attack, so let's try to raise the ESM mast. Aye, sir. Lower the ESM mast. Aye, sir. This is a, what the heck? The one of those what the hell kind of a situation. Honestly, I have no idea. Raise the radar mast. Hi, sir. Lower the radar mast. Aye, sir.
According to this, it said 30,000. So why did it not hit? Did we set the range too short again? That's most likely reason. Changing 3 and 4. Okay, looks like we did get it. Our range estimates are way off. Whatever. As long as we do Raise finish. the antenna. Aye, sir. At least we didn't destroy the radar. The ferry never moved. The only one moving, and somehow my. Hmm. The other one was off enough that it just did not even enter the pattern. Hmm. Okay, well, at least we got it done, folks. At least we got it done. And extra missiles don't hurt you. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more simulations like this, and I will see you in the next video.